On battle near the border in Arizona. Now his family is criticizing the Department of Homeland Security. The father of Iraq vet Brian Terry says when Homeland Security Chief Janet Napolitano called to offer her, con her condolences, he didn't feel uh, that she, or he didn't hold back, telling Napolitano, quote, you got to wake your man up in the White House, to which Napolitano reportedly replied, he's done more in the last two years to secure the border than any other president. Secretary Napolitano did not want to talk about the spat at Agent Terry's funeral in Detroit. We had a uh, rancher killed, as you know, in March. Mm -hmm. We had a deputy shot in April. Now this fallen agent. What else can be done to protect our border? Well, I, I think that now is not the time to talk about all that has been done. A fair and balanced debate now. Syndicated radio talk show hosts Lars Larson and Nancy Skinner. Good to see both of you. Thank you. And you? Yes, yes. Okay, um, Nancy, l let me start with you. Uh, the other thing that uh, uh, Agent Terry's father says that uh, Secretary Napolitano's condolences, empty words. So are we looking at a PR problem here or perhaps a job performance problem? Well, as you said, it was in Detroit yesterday. So she personally came here. That's up my backyard. She came here personally with a note from the president. But so, you know... If you look at it, in August of 2010, President Obama signed a, a bill, $600 million, to add 1,200 more Border Patrol agents, uh, more surveillance and unmanned drones to the, to the border situation. And I empathize with the, the, that state and their problem. But, but look at, you know, we're, we're in Michigan. We have uh, the Great Lakes that are about to be ruined by Asian carp coming in, billion-dollar industry federal government isn't doing anything. Louisiana has had, you know, their fair share with Katrina and, and now BP. They want more. Everyone wants the government to do more, but they want them to spend less at doing it. You're, it's coming out of both yeah, sides but, of their mouths. We want more, but, but stop but, but spending Nancy, money. Isn't the government this, can't this, do everything. This is on the border, but this affects That's homeland security. So this is bigger than uh, perhaps what's happening in Louisiana. That is my home state, so of course I care about it. This is bigger than what's happening in your backyard. Uh, Lars, you say what? That, that's crazy. Nancy, look, Asian carp are a problem. Maybe the borders of this country have been the responsibility of this national government since the beginning. They have to do something about it. And saying we've done more than any other president is baloney. There are other presidents in American history who've done a far better job of shutting out the illegal aliens who are currently coming into our country and who are murdering citizens here, who are murdering How? border agents here. This has to How? be solved. What and have I'm they done, tell you something. I'll tell you what. Well, previous presidents, previous presidents have protected our borders. I'll tell you what my suggestion would be. And when you say we can't afford to do it, we have to be able to afford to guard no. our nation's borders. Take every national guard, uh, uh, take every national guard unit in America that needs to do its annual exercises and put them down there on that border to to do but, do the practice that they have to do every year. Now, Lars, that's where I want to jump in because Congress passed the defense authorization bill, but the provisions ah. provide. However, the pro pr provision to provide and to send 6,000 National Guardsmen to the border, that was on the cutting edge floor, the cutting room floor, so to speak. So do you think sending the National Guard to the border is the answer, and does it matter how much uh, it no, might cost? I think it's I think it's one of the answers. I'll tell you what, our ally Israel found out that the only way to keep the bad guys out who kill their people is to put a wall uh, on their border between them and the, and the West Bank. And the fact is, it worked. Now, if that little country can build a 200-mile-long wall, we can certainly build a wall big enough to keep illegal aliens and their drugs and their murderous ways and everything else Lars, on that Lars, side of the border. Not with the vastness of our border. And I'll tell you, it's a whole different situation there because they're coming here for jobs. It's an economic situation, and part, what, what President Obama well, wanted to do as part of comprehensive, let me finish, let me finish, comprehensive reform is go after the employers who are drawing no. them but here. But Nancy, you and, know, and, I, I think and, with and Lars, I think Lars's point the there GOP is that did the, not want. we're not saying that everybody's coming over to, 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 to do bad to our country, so to speak. There are no. some people coming to, to get jobs. However, uh, the argument right. is that the, many of the people are coming here to do bad, and it's not as simple as, uh, you know, going and, after the employer. They're not doing this uh, and, and under me, documentation. Let me add no, there's, there's got to be a this. lot of the solutions people, no, to on. this. But Nancy. why haven't we built a wall Nancy. to this point? Why have the Republicans, okay. when Bush had, had a Republican Congress, and why did, did they not go ahead and build Obama's that wall? Obama's watch now. 
This is on Obama's watch. Let me give you a couple of practical solutions. Number one, the folks coming here to uh, make motel beds and mow lawns are not the ones shooting border agents for the most part. They're the drug dealers who are coming into our country. So let's make that distinction, number one. Number two, Congressman Steve King, for years, a Republican, has proposed the uh, CLEAR Act, which would... Uh, which would uh, Go ahead and tell employers if you try to deduct the wages of somebody who doesn't have a name and a social that match, then it will, it'll be refused by the IRS. The president could do that through administrative rule right now. And we could do no. more protection Nancy, on that border I'm, uh, and build get, more border fence. Tell me what's the answer. I'm sure there's not a simple answer, but what do you think should be done? Well, I think this is, this is you know, political again, that there has to be, and, and maybe with a bipart this new bipartisan <laughs> spirit, it can happen. I think there has to be, um, there, in some areas, it might make sense to build a fence. The whole, the vastness Good. of all our borders, no. But st go cracking down on employers, the DREAM Act, uh, giving people a path to citizenship, we're not going to deport 12 million uh, illegals. Okay. All of this has we're, to we're, come we're together. Gonna, listen, guys, I'm going I'm to put it into this because we want to stay on point here. Nancy Skinner, Lars Larson, I want to thank you and uh, bringing back to the, the, the point of this story, which is about Agent Brian Terry. Our condolences to his family. Absolutely. And, and Merry Christmas to all of yeah. you. Merry Christmas. And there's the agent.